what is up guys welcome back to the world of ai in today's video we're going to be focusing on another autonomous ai powered task management system in the previous video we actually gained a lot of following as well as a lot of liking for applications with autonomous as well as self-driven applications using ai now in today's video we're going to be focusing on an application that is called baby agi before we actually get into this, I would highly recommend that you go subscribe as well as check out some of my other videos, guys. It would mean the world to me. So with that thought, let's get right into it. So basically what Baby AGI is, it is like a autonomous AI powered task management system and it utilizes Python, OpenAI and Pinecones APIs. And basically the system is designed to generate, prioritize and execute tasks based on the previous results as well as the predefined objectives. The script also utilizes OpenAI's NLP capabilities to create new tasks based on the objectives and Pinecone to store and retrieve task results for context. And what it initially does is that it will keep on creating, you have an objective, the objective is put out to the system, the system keeps prioritizing whatever tasks that need to be completed to like reach the objective and whatever is reached with the objective goes to the memory. And it, it basically continuously works in that loop. Now the sy system works by running an infinite loop and it, it is executed by four steps. The first step is that it is pulled from the task list, which I talked about at the first, and I'm gonna be demonstrating all the, the flow as well as the outflow of what happens when you run the system. The second is the execution agent is sent to the task to complete it based on the context and it is, it is utilizing OpenAI's API. The third step is that the result is then enriched and stored into pine cones. And the fourth one is that the new tasks are created and reprioritized based on the objective as well as the previous task, like the result that was given from the previous task. Now, what I, I've, I'll leave the link down below, but what how it works is how I demonstrated here. And what it also does is that the execution underscore agent, which is the function and is the core of the system. And that is where the open AI's API is utilized to process the task. And the function takes like two parameters and the objective and the task. And it sends a prompt to the open AI API, which returns the result of the task as a string. And the prompt consists of the description of an API system task and the objective, as well as the task itself. And all this information is on the github guys so i definitely recommend that you guys check it out uh, it also shows you how to use it the installation is also here and one of the main things that you need to worry about whenever you're using this script is that you need to also have caution when running the script continuously because it may also consume a significant amount of com like basic your memory as well as it will require a lot of funding to basically preserve and continuously run the program so it's obviously it's it's a huge warning and also as well as like it's always advised that you monitor the system's behavior and you allocate as well as set like certain floors for running the application so that you don't actually go over your limits as well as going over what you're trying to spend for a certain memory now this is created by yohi i don't know i'm sorry if i can't pronounce it right and he was the one who actually created baby by agi and I'll leave all the links down in the description. I'm just going to go through in more detail as to what it is, as well as the basic step to step description of how you can actually run it and what it actually accomplishes. So basically we can see from this flow that it first starts off with a task. So you send out a task and we see this over here, I believe right here. So it's, it's based off of three parameters and it is the execution the creation and prioritization and it works in this three function so you start with the task you have the objective that you want the second part is the query the memory for the context so it sends whatever task as well as objectives you write down all the objectives for it and it sends it to the creation agent and once the creation agent has gotten the objective of the task it takes that data and sends it to the memory and also it goes through a queue which goes into a prioritization of the task that you have at hand and it basically works in this flow and you can see that the agent leverages OpenAI's GTP4, Pinecone's vector search and Langchain's AI framework to autonomously create 
as well as perform tasks based on the end objective. And you can see all of this, I'll leave all the like information as well as the details more down in the description below. The system can complete tasks, generate new tasks based on the results and prioritize tasks in real time. It demonstrates the potential of AI powered language models to autonomously perform tasks within various constraints as well as combined contexts. Autonomous agent uses GTP4 for task completions, pine cones for effective search and storage task related data and the lang change framework to enhance decision making processes. The system maintains a task list for managing and prioritizing tasks. It is autonomously creates new tasks based on completed results and reprioritizes the task list accordingly, showcasing the adapt oh, sorry, adaptability of AI powered language models. And this is the chart that we actually checked out previously. And fifthly, to complete tasks, the system uses GTP4 and LangChain's capabilities, enriching and storing results in Pinecone. So Pinecone is like the storage of the memory, and it also uses the search engine to help find, as well as help complete the tasks that you have at hand. This integrated approach allows the AI agent to interact with its environment, as well as performs tasks efficiently. The system generates new tasks based on the completed task results and reprioritizes them Using ChatGPT GPT4, this allows the system to adapt as well as respond to new information as well as priorities. Future improvements include integrating a security safety agent as well as a task sequencing and parallel tasks, generating interim milestones as well as incorporating real-time priority updates. The new, this new approach paves the way for AI-powered language models to autonomously perform tasks within various constraints and contexts, enabling new applications and opportunities and this is something amazing that these guys have created i believe there's a couple contribution contributors with this task and it just goes to show how amazing this is as with the autonomous like the push of autonomous ai can definitely ease off with day-to-day -day, like menial tasks such as data entry as well as certain tasks regarding smaller managerial as well as administrative work and it can basically ease as well as pave the way to create a new future that doesn't require more human features to do certain menial tasks. So basically, these small pushes towards applications such as Baby AGI as well as Auto GTP, GPT will definitely push as well as pave a way for making a better world as well as a better business impact that will innovate our world also, but also help with basic like human work now here's another example as well as a demo of how it works and i just want to show this video it's very simple so you start off with the objective and in this objective in the demolition our demo it shows that behave as a cyber insurance underwriter and find which possible issues might uh, la uh, lead to a cyber insurance claim so you set out with objective the second thing is you put a task list which he put over here learn about the cyber insurance coverages and then by using available tools to discover which issues might exist with linkedin.com the next task so basically you have the objective the task list and the next task and you can basically repeat the amount of tasks that you want to complete with this one objective and what the system will do it will continuously keep working to execute the objective and we can see over here the task result is given and the task list has also been created to complete the actual initial objective and then overall it will work it'll start working on the next objective that you have given and it will reprioritize whatever the memory that was given initially to work on the next basic task to uh, like achieve that uh, or like the initial objective and overall you will end up completing the actual initial objective by going over some of the different tasks that were at hand. And that's basically just a small demo of how it actually works. There's also a lot of different things that you can research on by going on Yohai's or Yohi's uh, Instagram account or Twitter account, sorry, as well as going on the GitHub. And there's also a lot of other people using the script of Baby AGI and they're trying to remodel it as well as use it 
to work in different ways so definitely give it a shot guys definitely look at how you can actually contribute as well as use it to utilize as well as to help you on your day-to-day -day business so i definitely recommend you guys check it out it's very fairly easy to install uh just note that you need to go to the github down in the description below and if you have any questions you can obviously comment down in the description as well as maybe even message yohi, yohi or i'm sorry how, however you pronounce it on twitter and basically that's just the gist of today's video and in summary baby agi is the powerful ai system that could autonomously manage a lot of tasks by using open ai's nlp capabilities and pinecone storage capabilities so it is very easy to use but i highly recommend that you also check out some of the warnings as before getting into it and have a safe use of it and i hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you want more videos like this definitely subscribe and definitely check out a lot of the other videos i have as it's very interesting and it'll definitely give a lot of value to you so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching and i'll definitely catch you guys next time peace out fellas